tough, tough gig. Um, but every now and then I will go and uh, I will take some friends of mine and we'll go to some exotic location and we'll write songs. We really use it more as an excuse to go drink beer. And uh, yeah, that's, that's worth, that's worth right there. Yes, beer, here you go, beer, thank you. Um, but this particular song was written on a trip I took to Belize with some really good friends of mine. And we uh, rode for a week down there. And one of the last nights we were there, I'd had this idea for a song the whole week and I just hadn't sat down to write it. And we went out and drank a lot and smoked a little and did lots of things that you can do in Belize and you can't do in Charleston. But anyway, um, and uh, we got back to the house and I sat down and I started writing this song with a buddy of mine in the corner of the room. And before I knew it, everybody that was in the house was there writing the song with us. And uh, we were laughing about it. We were saying, man, this song would be perfect for Jimmy Buffett. And we were drinking, so we were just drunk. <laughs> but lo and behold, about uh, four or five months later, Jimmy called and asked if he could uh, record this song. And so, you know, the thing that I like to say about this is uh, I always like to send this song out to my best friend, Mr. Jimmy Buffett. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, this little thing called, uh, it's called Something About a Boat. Works well here in Charleston, South Carolina. I do believe. Well, something about a boat sitting on the sea, out there in the wind, floating on free. Take you around the world, bring it back home. Gives a man hope Something about a boat Something about an old guitar And the way it still sings After all the smoky bars And the broken strings Played a million songs Broke a lot of hearts Healed a lot of scars Something about an old Ain't it crazy how something seems like nothing at all? You can take a big old world and make it seem so small. See the windows where there are walls. Makes a whole lot of something out of nothing at all. Well, something about a dog sitting by your side. If you had a bad day, he ain't gonna run and hide. Wagging that tail, grinning that grin. Something about a dog makes a man's best friend. Well, ain't it crazy how something seems like nothing at all? You take a big old world and make it seem so small. Jimmy Buffett's people called my people. And by my people, I mean me. And they asked if I would be uh, willing to come out and see Jimmy perform this song and a whole bunch of others uh, at a show in Nashville. And I, I told them, I'll have to think about it, guys. And so uh, I told them, yeah, and I went to the arena. And it was uh, downtown Nashville, a really big place. And I walked underneath the stadium before the show to meet Jimmy Buffett. I'd never met him before. And I basically just walked underneath and they led me back and, 
And there he was. He was standing there like a vision. He was exactly like I always thought he was going to look. He had on a pair of blue jean cut-off shorts, no shoes, no sandals, nothing. He had on a tank top. He had on multicolored wristbands. His hair was all squirrely, and he looked like he'd been out in the sun for 60 or 70,000 years. And I said, well, Jimmy, so, so nice to meet you. And he said, Patrick, it's nice to meet you, too. I'm really, really thankful you let me record that song. I don't do a lot of songs that I did not write, but I heard this song, and I just felt like it was something I, I wanted to sing. And I said, well, it's a real honor. He said, well, thank you, but I got to ask you one question. And I said, yes, sir. He said, I noticed that on this song, there are six songwriters. And the song is only three minutes long. And that's a lot of songwriters for a three-minute song. And I said, well, Jimmy, funny story. I said, we were in Belize. We were drinking and partying, and we were writing some songs. But this one particular night, we got back from the bar, and we wrote this song. He goes, OK, I like that, I like that. He, who was there? I said, it was myself, my friend Django Walker, my, who was here last year. Y'all remember Django? OK. It was myself, my friend Django Walker, my friend Eric Pasley, my friend James Otto, and my friend Dave Berg. And he goes, OK, well, that's five of you. I know there were six of you because I write checks to six people for this song. I said, well, um, our friend Jed, uh, Jimmy, uh, he wasn't actually there. He said, he wasn't there. I said, no, sir. I said, uh, Jed had met this really beautiful Belize girl back at the bar that night. And we didn't see Jed again for three days. Jed did not show back up until the plane was leaving Belize. But we were so proud of Jed and his manly ways that we thought as just like a goof, as a joke, we'd put him on this song because we never thought for one second this song was going to make a penny. Jimmy looks at me, he goes, let me get this straight. I played this song on all the morning talk shows. I've done Ellen. I've done the late night shows. And there's some guy that's getting paid who wasn't even there. I said, yes, sir. He said, there's some guy that wouldn't. Not only was he not there, he's getting paid for out getting laid. I said, yeah, pretty much, Jimmy. He said, Patrick, before I heard that story, I really liked this song. But after hearing that story, I absolutely love this song. And I said, Jimmy, ain't it crazy how something seems like nothing at all? Take a big old seems so small gives a man 